Good morning friends. Welcome to Panikas Tutorials YouTube channel. In this video, I want to discuss about AVL tree. Before discussing what is AVL tree, let me discuss what is the need for an AVL tree. In the last few videos, I have discussed about the binary search tree. What is the property of the binary search tree? The root element. Let's take that I have a root element which is 10. All the elements which are there in the left subtree should be less than the root node. So let's take that I have the root node as 10. All the elements which are there in the left subtree should be less than the 10. And all the elements which are there in the right subtree should be greater than 10. Now let's take that I want to insert 7. Now 7 is less than 10. So I need to insert towards the left hand side. Okay. Now I want to insert 8. Now 8 is less than 10 and greater than 7 so it should be there here is it clear now i want to insert 5 now 5 is less than 10 and less than 7 so i need to insert here now i want to insert 15 now 15 is greater than 10 so it should be there in the right subtree so i will insert here now i want to insert 14 now 14 is greater than 10 so it should come here and less than 15 so it should be there here okay and now I want to insert 18 so 18 is greater than 10 greater than 15 so I need to insert here so this is the way we will construct the binary search tree or insert the elements in the binary search tree now what I want to do is that after constructing I want to search whether 18 element is there in this binary search tree or not. Now look at it. What is the root element is 10. Now if the 18 element is there, obviously it should be there in the right subtree. Why 18 is greater than 10. Suppose let's take that whatever the element you want to search. Let's take that you want to search 5. Now if you want to search 5 as your root element is 10, if the element 5 is there, it should be there in the left subtree of the root. Now, let's take that. 18 I want to search. How I will search? I will compare with root node. What is the element is there in the root node? 10. So, 10 is not equal to 18. So, whatever the element you want to search is not there at the root node. Now, you look at it. So, 18 is greater than 10. So, it should be there in the right subtree. Now you will come to the right subtree of the root. What is the element is there? Element is 15. 15 is not equal to 18. So whatever the element you want to search is there, not there here also. Now you will compare. 15 is less than 18 or I can say that 18 is greater than 15. So if it is there, it should be there in the right subtree of this 15. So you will go to the right subtree and look at what is the element is there here? 18. 18 you want to search which is equal. So now look at how many comparisons you have done while searching for the 18. One comparison here, one comparison here, one comparison. So totally we have done the three comparisons which is equal to I can say that order of log n. Almost equal to order of log n. What is this n? Number of elements in this binary search tree. Look at how many elements are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, log n even is equal to 3. Is it clear? Almost equal to 3. So, I can say that on an average case, for searching for an element in the binary search tree will take log n. Now, what is the problem with the binary search tree? Let me discuss. Let's take that you have only 10, 15, 18, 22. This is your binary search tree. You want to insert 10, 15, 18, 22. Now, if you look at, obviously I need to insert here only. First I have inserted 10, which is the root node. Are you able to understand whatever the element you want to insert, first that element will act as a root node. Then 15 you want to insert. Now, 15 is greater than 10. So, obviously you need to insert here. Now you want to insert 18, so which is greater than 10, greater than 15, so you will insert here. Similarly, you want to insert 22. 10, 22 is greater than 10, greater than 15, greater than 18, so you have inserted. 
Now, what is this kind of binary search tree we will call? We will call it as a right skewed binary search tree. All the elements are there in the right hand side. There are no elements in the left subtree. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? This kind of binary search tree, we will call it as right skewed binary search tree. In shortcut, I will write it as BST. Now, if you look at, if you want to search 22, it is not there here. 22 is greater than root node. So, if it is there, it should be there in the right subtree. So, you will search for here, it is not there. You will search here, not there. It is there here. Now, if you look at what is the time complexity it has taken? It has taken order of n. How I am saying order of n? How many comparisons we have done? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have done the 4 comparisons which is equal to number of elements in this binary search tree. So, in a worst case, the searching will take in a binary search tree is order of n. So, I want to reduce it. In an average case, it is taking order of log n. In a worst case, it is taking order of n. To avoid this time complexity order of n, we will go for the balancing. Is it clear? Now, if you look at this binary search tree is not balancing binary search tree. It is a right skewed binary search tree. So, to avoid this time complexity of order of n, we need to introduce the balancing. That balancing is introduced in the AVL tree. So, now let me discuss. I hope now you have understood what is the need of the AVL tree. Okay. Now, let me discuss what is an AVL tree now. Okay. And then we will introduce slowly what is balancing factor everything. Now, AVL tree is also a binary search tree. First, it is also a binary search tree. In shortcut, I am writing it as BST, binary search tree. But what is the another important point is that it is first, it is a binary search tree. So, whatever the elements you want to insert, you will first insert using the binary search tree property. But there is a self balancing is there. What is meant by the self-balancing? I will discuss. Okay. Now, in AVL tree, we have a one important point called balancing factor. We have a important point which is called as balancing factor. Balancing factor of a node is equal to height of the height of the left subtree of a node minus height of the right subtree. I request you to please note down this point. Balancing factor of a node is equal to height of the left subtree minus height of the right subtree. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? Now, this balancing factor should be there in a node from minus 1 to 0 to 1. Then we can say that that binary search tree is a AVL tree. Are you able to understand? I will discuss it slowly. You don't worry. So, if any tree or any tree, if it should be called as an AVL tree, first it should satisfy all the properties of binary search tree and then it should be balancing. What is the balancing is that all the nodes balancing factor should be in the range of minus 1 to 1 then I will call it as an AVL tree. So, how we will calculate the balancing factor is equal to height of the left subtree minus height of the right subtree. Now, let me discuss few examples whether they are AVL trees or not. Okay. Now, let's take that this example. Suppose, let's take that you have 5, 7, 8. Now, we will compute the balancing factor of this each node in this tree. Okay. Now, what is the balancing factor for this node? How many elements are there in the left subtree? 0. So, 0. Height of the left subtree is 0. And what is the height of this right subtree? Again 0. So, 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. So, balancing factor of this node is 0. Now, you compare this one. 
what is the balancing factor of this node balancing factor of this node is how many elements are there in the left subtree zero so height of the left subtree is zero what is the height of the right subtree one so zero minus one is equal to minus one so the balancing factor of this node is minus one now if you look at here what is the height of the left subtree there are no more elements in the left subtree so height of this left subtree is 0 and what is the height of the right subtree 2 elements are there so 0 minus 2 which is equal to minus 2 so the balancing factor of this node is minus 2 now you look at what is the balancing factor of each node this is 0 this is minus 1 and this is minus 2 what I said about the AVL tree if you have look at the balancing factor of each node it should be in the range of either minus 1 or 0 or 1 this is satisfying this is satisfying but it is not satisfying so i can say that this is not a avl tree are you able to understand it or not okay in this case what we have to do i will discuss we need to follow certain rotations all these things i will discuss later now you consider this one you have some 5 and 4, 6 is there. Okay, you have a binary search tree with elements 5, 4, 6. Now compute the balancing factor of this node. Height of the left subtree is 0, height of the right subtree is 0. So 0 minus 0 is 0. Okay, again if you compute the balancing factor of this one, which is equal to 0 minus 0, because height of the left subtree is 0 height of the right subtree is 0 so 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 now if you compute the balancing factor of this one height of the left subtree is 1 height of the right subtree is 1 so 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 now if you look at balancing factor let me write it balancing factor of all the nodes are 0 which is in the range of this one so i can say that this is an avl tree okay now you can ask me sir why should we have this range minus one zero one if you look at here this is again a skewed okay if the balancing factor we are keeping minus one zero one we are keeping a constraint on the skewed suppose if it is there then again it is going for the order of n in a worst case if i want to search for an element eight again it is taking order of n so in avl tree what we are doing we are introducing the balancing factor to keep a constraint on the skewed nature whether it is a left skewed or the right skewed okay so if any binary search tree and all the nodes which are in the balancing factor minus one zero one then i can say that it is an avl tree so i hope you have understood what is an avl tree what is the need for an avl tree how to compute the balancing factor of each node and how can we check whether it is AVL tree or not. If you still have any doubts related to the AVL tree, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. In the next video, I will discuss about what are the rotations we have to do. Suppose let's take that this AVL tree. This is not an AVL tree. If you have taken this binary search tree, if you want to make it as an AVL tree, I said we need to follow some rotations. We have four rotations. All these things I will discuss in the next video. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.